One, two, three. Starting recording in three, two, one, click. Sup everybody, welcome back to part three of Perception. I left off at just after like the beginning semi cutscene of part of chapter two, which I, I don't remember what it was called and I like didn't I just played it a couple minutes ago. Um anyway, let's see what happens. How can I forget this badly, what I was doing? Ow. Well, there goes the whole I'm their daughter theory. But it probably it is supporting the whole... The vignettes, and apparently this one's gonna have... Carnival? Or clowns? Probably clowns, because they're apparently creepy. There's like an arrow for me. In luck. We're lucky I have daredevil powers, so I would have missed that. I should probably. I'm gonna follow the arrow. And now we're at a carnival. What is going on with this place? Stuff. To be honest, I would like a carnival in my house. You chivalrous man, you. Don't you dare spend your last nickel on another throw. Save your strength for writing poetry, Shakespeare. Now hand me the baseball. I'm winning you that, Teddy. Serge for his autograph, and then his phone number. Write it right on the ball. How <laughs> to be nicer to him? Jean, Jean, rise and shine, soldier. Your Betty Bird's made your favorite sausage and biscuits. I'm gonna take this with me. But I'm sensing there's some kind of psychic connection between people and this is a, a shining situation. Where it's it's a shitty place, not necessarily. Uh, because of the people. Well, it's become because of the people, but it didn't, like, start that way. Maybe I should throw it down there. I might screw something up. Maybe I'll win a teddy bear and then I can throw that at the mandible monsters. It's rigged. I should have kept it. Kept it. It's rigged, I tell ya. Give me my... the money I didn't give you back. <laughs> but now we're following Betty, who was the housewife from before. Wait. I smell... is that breakfast? Well, she just thought she'd be breakfast. It's Columbia. Bioshock, it's following me. Oh my gosh. No. Because people who made Bioshock made this, right? I think so. Ah, 
Hi, I was called here with the promise of breakfast. I'm hungry. Why don't I record when I'm hungry? It's very dumb. Call your boyfriend and make him come here and help you. He's also probably supposed to be here because, you know, weird similarity link and stuff. God, what happened to him? Jean. <laughs> You've barely touched your plate, my love. Go on, have some more. Your body needs the vitality for action. Can she see him? <laughs> now, sweetheart, don't you fret. I'll find that gun lickety split. No soldier worth his salt ought to carry those shoddy government issued pistols. Plastic handles? Shh. Give me check and walnut any day. Okay. I got this. Last time I just had to figure out what happened to Felicia. This time I need to find that gun. Easy. Ticket. That's the name of this chapter. Why do we need a ticket? Is it for a carnival? Oh, he's still there. I just got a funny image of Soldier with, um, like, SFM this scene, but with Soldier and Heavy Sister. And Soldier's just being stupid. It's not like any, not tragic or anything. He's just, that's how he eats cereal. Is there a mandible bug monster? I don't know. Okay, find this World War II, given by the helm, given the... <sighs> I'm guessing World War II, because it's always World War II. I simply must find that gun. Weathers, I'm very proud to have my name and time on the girls' track banner, but I hold the best time overall. You've said to be grateful with what I have, but what I have is the school record. I'd like to formally petition to have my name sewn on there. Oh dear. It's one of those types. At least she knows that she's desperate. that her biggest perceived accomplishment was a school thing. Ugh. One sec. Anyway, what were we doing? I'm imagining her like old timey GCB, which was a great show. Look at me running from everything I should be doing. And making as much noise as possible. Especially since it's giving me like, hey, here's where the thing is, and now I know where to look and not accidentally trigger part of the story. Oh, 
probably get lost, but you know, yeah. I can hide in the bathtub. That's awesome. They're giving me an awful lot of hiding places and not much reason to use them yet. And especially given how the layout changes all the time, I'm wondering if I'm just not making enough noise to trigger anything or if I'm... It's because it's like easy mode or something. Is that a glitch or is that significant to the plot? Can, can I go in? Um, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave you there. I can't use you right now. Game saved, you found the useless door. mansion chandeliers. I like it. Wasn't I finding a gun? Because I thought it gave me two highlighted things and I didn't find the other one. I just got a cutscene-ish. Whatever. Is there a term for that where you're still able to move around but stuff's going on? Oh, I was in here already. Cause like a full cutscene would be like, I'm lost control, you know, it's where quick time events screw you over because they trick you into thinking that, that um, you can just watch. Instead it's like, nope. I can't jump. I just realized that. How? I'm gonna need to get up in that attic. Guess I'll have to find something to pull that door down. Use your arms. Okay. Oh, I'm certainly trying to keep busy, dear. You should see how tidy my stitching has become. But I need more. I'm not the putter around type, you know. Come, let me show you what I've been studying. I wonder if her hus if she killed her husband like Felicia did. Or if um her husband died in whatever war. And because of that she like like that guy from Night in the Woods, or that lady that that um if you go with Oh my gosh, I forgot all their names. The alligator crocodile girl that looks uh, slightly goth, goth, I think. I don't know. I'm ignorant in the ways of fashion. 
Um, as you can tell. Uh, where it's like she was talking about how she mummified her husband. Like that, maybe? I don't know. Ooh. Wait. Where am I? I have no idea. I want that though. Can I have that? Like, it's just cool looking. I want it in my room. Modupas. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. English. Anglais. Real smooth, Cass. Maybe Delphi can help. Moot a pas password. <sighs> Time to get Sherlocky, Cass. child, the house unsettled me a bit too. It's always been a creaky, morose place with too many moths, but that's all. No voices had ever spoken to me, no visions ever assaulted my senses. The only ghosts I've encountered are out here overseas. But enough morbid talk. Your loving husband, Jean. So this was Jean's childhood home, and I'm guessing we're going backwards in time, a la uh, To the Moon, where, like, Felicia was the most recent people to live here. This was the next group, I guess. Yeah, going backwards in the timeline of significant people that lived here. Oh, I need to hold it down. Okay, I've been just clicking it a lot. Actually, I should hit more sofas, because they're soft, but they, like, give a lot of, like, sound vibrations and stuff. It's a stick. I'm a good Catholic girl, but these rotten sticks I keep finding are... Enough to take the Lord's name in vain. Every time I clean, I find them, or, or one of those little ragdolls. Jean says he never saw the likes of them his whole childhood here. Blair Witch? I've never actually seen that, but I know there were stick things. I am Batman. That's creepy. What? Let me in. What am I supposed to? get to where I need to go, so I'll just look at these clipping trees. Oh, 
I wonder if it would let me fall down there. Like if it would, um... Uh, like I'd get injured or something if that was supposed to be a trap because I'm blind. You know, and the, the game designers. This is creepily bare as opposed to, um... Is this ice? Let me look at that real fast. You're the tree that was clipping the carnival. I'm gonna go outside. Did I die? I think I broke it. Um. Well then. I'm gonna leave this episode here then, even though it's a little early, because I think I broke it, so I'm gonna have to redo something. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and hope oh, and sing and a lot. What am I doing with my life? Okay, if you liked it, then I'm glad you liked it. Uh, if you didn't. I don't know why you're watching at this point. You probably would have figured that out by the first one, I would think. But either way, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy, and hope to see you in the next episode. Bye!